There's an old saying in Britain, know which side your bread is buttered. Realize where your interests lie and act accordingly to protect them. Well, that realization has finally kicked in at 10 Downing Street. The British government has decided to come off its high horse. It has relaxed travel rules for Indians heading to the UK. Starting 4 a.m. on the 11th of October, Indians who are fully vaccinated with COVID Shield or any other UK-approved vaccine for that matter will no longer have to quarantine. It's a striking U-turn, but not without cause. It comes right after India made a tit-for-tat move. It imposed reciprocal travel restrictions on British visitors arriving in India. And then the Indian hockey team withdrew from the Commonwealth Games, citing COVID concerns in the UK. So India's message was clear. You get what you give. Britain has got the point. The British High Commissioner to India said it's going to be, quote-unquote, easier and cheaper for Indians to enter the UK. Interestingly, he also expressed Britain's desire to open more flights between the two countries, allowing British tourists to come to India and business travellers to come with e-visas. He said this on the same day when India announced that it would reopen tourism. On Thursday, the Ministry of Home Affairs in India said that starting the 15th of October, it will grant fresh visas to tourists coming to India through chartered flights. Now, this decision has been made after consultation with several state governments, also stakeholders in the tourism and hospitality sector. It's an important decision. Reviving tourism is important. At the same time, it is important to remember that the virus has not disappeared. Yes, there's a semblance of normalcy, but there's no guarantee on how long it will sustain or which mutations are in store next. India's vaccination record is stupendous, but it still does not include children. Children are at a relatively low risk of catching the virus, but they're still at risk. So as the world reopens, as schools reopen, as the festive season begins, as tourism restarts, we must ask ourselves, how prepared are we? Here's a report with some numbers. From Monday the 11th of October, a traveler from India to the UK, double jabbed with COVID shield, or another vaccine recognized by the UK regulator, does not have to quarantine. So it'll be easier and cheaper to enter the UK. This is great news. We have been actually open for- Britain uh, has trimmed its red list. Uh, uh, India has been removed from the list of countries whose nationals will have to quarantine themselves in the UK. The countries that remain are Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Haiti, Panama, Peru and Venezuela. Barring these seven vaccinated tourists from all countries won't have to undergo mandatory quarantine. The British High Commissioner to India says that India and Britain should take things a step further. More flights between the two countries. Let's get British tourists able to come into India. They're desperate to do so. Let's facilitate business travellers who are trying to come into India with e visas the timing is significant. India is reopening. The festive season is here. There's a distinct excitement in the air. Indians are preparing for festivals, weddings and parties. Even schools have resumed classes, but the virus is still lurking around. A study conducted by the WHO claims to have found a high COVID-19 rate among Indian children and teenagers. It claims the virus is spreading in the 0 to 19 age group. The states of Odisha and Mizoram are reporting the most cases. In Odisha, the rate of infection among children has risen to 14.26%. In Mizoram, it has risen to 13.98%. This is the highest in all states in the country. Across the world, too. Children continue to become infected with the virus. But in most countries, children above 12 years of age are receiving their jabs. In India, that process is yet to begin. When will it start? Soon, says the Drug Controller General of India. India plans to roll out a homemade vaccine for children above 12. The inoculation, known as Zycov D, will be the first vaccine to be administered to adolescents in India. The vaccine has been approved. The only thing left is the date of the rollout. Bureau report, 
We on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.